This November 6th election is extremely important for everyone affected by the recession, especially women, students, and middle-class families who have been affected most. As a member of all three of these demographics, I can assure you that on November 6th, my vote will be cast for President Barack Obama. I need to know that my president for the next four years will be someone who will stand up for my right to education, fair pay, health care, a clean environment, and a chance at a job when I graduate. Obama has proven in the past four years that he is the best advocate for these issues that affect me. In this video, I want to explain to you how Obama offers the best solutions for the difficulties facing women, students, and middle class Americans. I'm sure you have seen how the polls are showing that Obama is doing better among women than Romney is, and there are several reasons for that that you should really know about. The first reason more women suppo support Obama is because he advocates for equal pay. Many of you probably already know this because it was brought up in the debates, but it is important to remember that the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act was the first bill President Obama signed into law when he became president. Another, even more compelling reason women vote for Obama in 2012 is because Obama's new health care bill requires that employers provide insurance that covers reproductive health care for women. Also, to many women under the poverty line, whose children and families now have health care they can afford, Obama has made a real difference. And you do not need to be a woman to understand what I am talking about. College students around the country sighed in relief when they heard that according to the new health care bill, we would be able to stay under our parents' insurance until we are 26. Obama has also been in favor of more federal loans for college students, as he said during the town hall debate just a few weeks ago. And it's not that we students want to be more dependent on our parents and accrue more loans. It's that the economy has been, that has been left to us makes it near impossible to go out and get a sustainable job right out of college. And this brings me to my third and final point which addresses the situation of our economy. President Obama's solutions to the immense problem of our economy offer relief to the middle class. Most people agree that things are better now than a few years ago when the, re when the recession was at its worst. And we still have a long way to go. Trillions of dollars are not going to be paid back overnight. It is going to take some time to crawl out of this financial crisis. This burden is so huge that it cannot rest solely on the backs of the average American. Those who have more to give should do so, and the federal government needs to take a serious look at spending priorities. Obama supports a cut in defense spending. Did you know that the U.S. spends more on defense than the next 13 next powerful countries combined, according to an article in the Los Angeles Times? This is, without a doubt, where our immense deficit stems from. And as international threats become less immediate, this spending should de decrease accordingly until we are back at normal spending rates. This is the most important thing that can be done to start leveling the budget. If Romney is elected and refuses to adequately decrease defense spending, there is no way the deficit will be leveled, and eventually taxes will skyrocket, or federally funded programs that millions of Americans rely on will disappear, and it will be my generation that will end up paying for it. So, on November 6th, it is important to get to the polls, because right now there are so many things that will affect us these next few years as women, students, and middle class voters. Please consider what our current president has done for us and our country and how candidate Mitt Romney wants to reverse those decisions. Please vote and vote Obama 2012.